Martha's Vineyard is an island located seven miles off of Cape Cod. There is no bridge, but there is an airport and several different ferry services. When deciding the best way to get here, it really depends on where you're coming from and how long you're staying. Hi, I'm Jen O'Hanlon, your Martha's Vineyard Realtor. And the quickest way to get to the island is flying into the Martha's Vineyard Airport. Cape Air runs year round to and from Boston and New York. And while pricey, it can be the most convenient way to get here. JetBlue and other major airlines fly to the island as well, but operate seasonally. The Martha's Vineyard Airport services many charter flights and private jets as well. If you'd like to take a car to the island, you'll need to make a reservation in advance on the Steamship Authority Ferry. It's a 45 minute trip from Woods Hole on the Cape and is the only ferry that runs year round. These ferries carry anywhere from 40 to 70 vehicles and up to 1,200 passengers. Travelers without vehicles do not need reservations, but if you do want to come over with your car in the busy season, you often need to make reservations months in advance. The Steamship Authority operates year-round out of Vineyard Haven and seasonally in Oak Bluffs. In addition to the Steamship Authority, the Island Queen is a very popular option that travels between Falmouth and Oak Bluffs. This passenger-only ferry is a nice alternative to the Steamship Authority if you're not taking a car to the island. The Pied Piper is an even smaller ferry from Falmouth and carries up to 130 passengers to and from Edgartown. There are fast ferries that operate seasonally out of New Jersey, New York, and New Bedford, as well as a ferry that takes passengers to and from Hyannis. And if you happen to have your own small plane, you'll want to know about the Katema Airfield. The airfield, which is in an area of sand plain grasslands, has been operating since 1924 and has done well to maintain much of its original allure. Day trippers can fly in, have lunch at the restaurant, and walk to South Beach for a relaxing day on the island. So now you have no excuse for not making the trip to Martha's Vineyard. And when you get here, look me up. I'd love to show you around.